Greetings fellow coders, uh, my name is Pavel and I am here with a C-sharp exercise from the book uh, C-sharp 2012, how to program and this is chapter 4 exercise 16 called computerization of health records. So this is a classic uh, OOP exercise, uh, you'll be doing some pretty simple object-oriented programming. So uh, this is what they ask us to do. In this exercise you'll design a starter health profile class for a person. The class attributes should include the person's first name, last name, gender, date of birth, consisting of separate attributes for month, day and year of birth, and height and weight in pounds. All right, and the class should have a constructor that receives all this data and of course we will provide properties uh, with get, uh, with set and get accessor and um, some methods to calculate uh, and return the user's age in years uh, because we will be getting the uh, birthday, not the age, we will calculate the age from the birthday provided and the maximum heart rate and target uh, heart rate range which I did in my previous exercise uh, for 15, but uh, I'll show you how to do that in this one too. It's a very simple formula. And also a body mass, body mass index BMI uh, from exercise 331, which I didn't do. But again, uh, on the bottom here, this is uh, the actual exercise 331 they're referring to. Uh, we will write an app that prompts the user to enter the information, we will instantiate an object called health profile and uh, we will display all the information including the name, birth, uh, height, weight and all the information as well as the calculated the BMI, the uh, age and the heart rate. Now as for the BMI uh, here's the formula that's fairly simple. I don't know how they came up with that, but this is the formula how to calculate the uh, body mass index. And uh, here's the values uh, that we will be displaying depending on what the BMI will be. If it's under 18.5, we will display that the person is underweight. If it's over 30, we will display that the person is obese. And as for the heart rate, uh, even though I did the exercise before, uh, the formula for the maximum heart rate is uh, 220 minus an age or the person's age so if you're 20 the maximum heart rate would be 220 minus 20 equals 200 and your target heart rate is in the range of 50 to 85 percent of the maximum so we will display and calculate that as well so uh, yeah nothing uh, too difficult uh, just one class so let's Let's get to code and um, what better way to start than add a class and we will add a class and call it uh, health profile I think that's what I wanted us to call it and we need few things a uh, um, lot of it will be properties we don't need a uh, like a private uh, variables uh, but for some things we, we uh, I want to do some kind of a validation like uh, let's say when the person enters a, a year of birth you know I don't want person to enter like uh, strange numbers like 10 you know no one was born in the year 10 so I will validate it uh, uh, to make sure that it's some reasonable date as well as gender, you know, uh, I will just go uh, with the male and female, so M and F, and uh, if the user enters something else, we will simply display some kind of a message. So I will va validate the input for that as well. And for this too, so I will I will create private. Uh, it's gonna be an integer. I'll call it patient uh, year of birth and uh, it's gonna be private string and I'll call it patient gender 
Now let me just uh, move this a little more so we can see if it gets stretched out. And um, I'm going to create a constructor, the health profile. And remember, it's supposed to uh, get all the information like name, uh, the first name, last name, year of birth. Well, they want us, uh, the, uh, they're asking us to have a, like a month, day, and year of birth, but uh, I am not just going to go with the year of birth. There's nothing we will be doing with the month or the day. And even though they're asking us uh, to do all three in this exercise, I'll just go with the year of birth because I, I can. That's why. So, I'm going to pass into this constructor a uh, few things so I'll pass uh, where's my cursor here it is I'll pass first name I'll pass uh, last name I'll pass the year of birth which is gonna be an integer and um, I'll pass gender uh, I don't know, should I pass anything else? Oh yeah, we, uh, we need to pass the integer height. I'm just going to do integers because they want us to have a height in inches. And the same with weight. They want us weight in pounds, so we can use integers instead of doubles in this case. So that's our constructor. And uh, in it we will initialize these. Uh, but before I do, I will create properties to hold values for each of the arguments passed into the constructor. So I will do, I will just do uh, automatic properties. So it's gonna be string patient first name. And it's gonna be get and set. And I, it's gonna be another string and it's gonna be patient last name so we've got to get it set and uh, the next one will be uh, an integer it's gonna be the year of birth so it's gonna be patient uh, year of birth but actually never mind this one won't be uh, remember i want to validate this one so this one won't be automatic property but the height and weight i will do as a uh, automatic property so it's gonna be patient uh, height and one more uh, automatic property and it's gonna be integer and patient weight so that's uh, the properties I have and like I said I'm going to validate the year you could validate all of these you could make sure that none of them is empty you could make sure that the user provides integer and not uh, some string for the uh, for the height and for the weight but uh, I'll just go into validate the patient year of birth and the patient gender so I'll do public integer patient uh, year of birth and uh, and it's gonna be I'll just make it a property I'll do get and we will return the value of the private variable patient year of birth that we declare right here so we will never really use uh, this directly we will use it through the through the property but the property is the one uh, is the place where the variable is being passed and also where it's gonna be validated in the set uh, so uh, our set will be uh, we can do something like, let's say year 1900, will, if it's any less than that, we'll simply dismiss it. There's no one 
alive, I suppose, who was born before 1900. So while value, which is being passed, uh, this is the property. So value is the keyword uh, referring to the actual value that is uh, being passed through the uh, year of birth. I mean, patient uh, year of birth, right? So uh, while the value is uh, less than 1900, and I'm making it into a loop because if I do an if statement, it will only validate it once. And if the user enters uh, a wrong number again, it won't go through it again. You know what I mean? It's uh, I wanna, as long as the user enters wrong value, as long as the value you, that the user enters is less than 1900, I will not let the user continue basically with the program until the value is correct. So while the value is less than 1900, I will do console dot right line, and I will do something like invalid uh, year of birth. Please re enter. All right, so uh, and we will store the new uh, whatever the user enters we will store it into the value and since it's an integer we need to convert it to integer otherwise it would be just a string that the user enters obviously so it's a console that read line so so what's happening here let's say user enters uh, 1800 as a year of birth so it comes over here and it says while value is less than 1900. Well, 1800 is less than 1900. So it comes over here, displays invalid year of birth, please re enter. And it waits for the user to enter the value. So user enters, let's say, 1700. So it comes over here and checks it again. Is the value less than 1900? Well, 1700 is less. So it comes and displays this message again and waits for the another value. And it will keep doing it until user enters a value that is at least 1900. So let's say a user enters 1900. So it comes over here. Uh, is value less than 1900? No, 1900 is not less than 1900. So it will skip this. And what it's gonna do, we, we can now set the patient year of birth, the variable that we declared above to the value. Because now we validated it. Now the value we know when, if the loop exits, we know that the value is a uh, correct one, is, is uh, 1900 or more. We could actually also do something like if the value is less than 1900 or uh, value is greater than, uh, uh, I don't know, 2015, since it's 2015, you know, you don't want future people. <laughs> so if it, the, it has to be in this range, we yeah, actually we can do it this way. So that's our uh, patient year of birth. So now we can do validate the gender. Uh, so we will do public and it's gonna be a string patient gender. And it's a property again, so we will do get and return the private patient gender. That's the standard. And we will validate it in our set uh, in a similar way. Uh, we will do while the value, and we can do value to upper, so we can, uh, because it's a string, we can do it just convert it to upper and if we can see if it's equal or not equal to m and the value to upper is not equal to f so it's male or female so in other words if the value is wrong then inform the user and we can do again console dot right line and please enter valid gender something like m or f all right so uh, i have too many of these and again we will 
let the user enter a new value and this time we don't have to convert it since we are con uh, grabbing a string so we will do simply console that read line the principle is the same like here we will wait until the user enters correct value and then well after that once once the value is correct we can go and assign the patient gender you can assign the value to it and i'm doing it to upper otherwise i would have to grab it uh, uh, do also and value is uh, not equal to lowercase m and lowercase f so this way i can simply see if it was m or f no matter what case all right so this is uh these are uh, properties uh, that are being passed into the class and uh, now we can do the calculated properties you know for the BMI for the age and all that but uh, I'll do it in the next video so um, the link for the next video will be in the description if you want to see my solution just click on that and I'll see you in the next video take care